Entertainment Luxury. Sean Paul Ryan Francis Henriquez was born in Kingston, Jamaica, on January 9, 1973. Sean Paul, who grew up in a family of passionate swimmers, switched direction and made a significant impact on the reggae, hip-hop, and dancehall scene. One of today's most well-known and well-liked mainstream performers is Sean Paul. Sean Paul is now a global celebrity 30 years after his mother supported his interest in music by purchasing him a $30 keyboard. His most successful hits are Temperature, Got To Love You, We Be Burnin', Get Busy, and Gimme The Light. These tunes have earned him an MOBO Award, an American Music Award, and two Grammy Awards for Best Reggae Album. Today we'll be taking a look at the top 8 luxury buys of Sean Paul. Before we start don't forget to poke that like button, and subscribe. Number 1 Nissan Armada The Nissan Armada offers the luxury capability and an above-average towing capacity at a cost significantly lower than full-size SUVs from Chevrolet, Ford, and Toyota that are similarly equipped. With its wide, high grille massive front bumper, and high belt line over slab-like sides the Armada has an intimidating appearance. The Armada has a 5.6-liter V8 engine with 390 horsepower and a 7-speed automated transmission. The Armada accelerates rapidly whether you're leaving at a stoplight or passing cars on the highway, thanks to the powerful engine that drives this large SUV well. The Armada can tow up to 8,500 pounds when properly outfitted which for a big SUV that's a respectable quantity. The keys, give it up to me. Number 2 Merchandise Company Real Vibe as merchandising will be primarily owned by the investment group Blue Mayo Capital with Sean Paul owning a stake that entitles him to a vote and a seat on the board. A cooperation with 8 and 9 Clothing which already works with 50 Latin artists to provide apparel will also be a part of the agreement. The goods will be distributed by the Florida-based business which is a significant streetwear manufacturing brand. The agreement will also cover the product's marketing and design. Said Sean Paul, we artists have to think beyond the music if we want to build real legacies. Culture drives business and we are often left out. Partnering with David and his team to bring back real vibes in a different way fits my vision of positively contributing to Jamaican music and opening doors for others by setting an example. Number 3 Acting Lessons If you're one of Sean Paul's admirers with a good memory you might remember seeing him in the movie Belly. In contrast to his impending superstardom the dancehall musician was still a young upstart at the moment. In fact, the appearance was heavily influenced by the movie star DMX, and in a recent interview with Hip Hop DX, Sean Paul recalled the events that led up to the chance. He remembered being stuck in the studio and missing an event only to learn that DMX ended up going. I went to sleep upset, he told the outlet. The next morning I woke up with a phone call from Tony Kelly. My phone was ringing you know one of those early cell phones and he's like yo, come to my studio now to do a song with DMX and Mr. Vegas. I was like, yes sir. I immediately just ran and left my house, reached over their ex wasn't there. It was me, Vegas, and the rhythm basically. Tony left us in the room and said you just built something for it. He said Hype Williams is shooting a movie and wants a song to put in the movie, so let's do this. I was like, alright, wicked, give me the light. Number 4 Edibles How can producing and making music benefit from the ups and downs of a marijuana high? Is the question posed by High Times, to SP, Sean Paul replied. Well, ganja gets me in a euphoric mood the kind that takes me back to any of those times when I felt dope. That's what I like about it, pot is a very creative substance. Even when I sang the song Gimme the Light, I can say that it helped me out a lot. You know what I'm saying? I did stop for 5 years because I have asthma but I started smoking again around Christmas. For 5 months, after the pandemic hit, I stopped smoking. I was paranoid for 5 months like you, not me. There are times when I smoke and other times when I'll only take edibles. But yeah, the point is I'm a ganja person, you know? Every day we be burning, not concerning, what nobody wanna say. Number 5 Gardening Tools Slash Supplies Sean Paul disclosed around this time last year that he like many others had taken up gardening as a new hobby while in lockdown. The hitmaker 50 acknowledged having quite the green thumb and even released his own scotch bonnet pepper sauce called Scorcha, after his album title. In an interview with The Sun, he provided the following information regarding his new business. I do gardening. I've got a little patch ready in my garden and I planted eggplants, tomatoes, lettuce, pak choy and also sweet peppers and scotch bonnet peppers. Number 6 Sean Paul Foundation 
Sean Paul donates iPads and data to schools during COVID-19 through his foundation. When 100 Samsung Tabba tablets from the Sean Paul Foundation in collaboration with the Flow Foundation, were given to students from at least 14 schools in three counties of Jamaica, they were in amazement. The tablets are preloaded with 25 gigabytes of data and a Flow SIM making them immediately usable. Over 90 people in need received gifts from the foundation which began working at the Red Hills Primary School in Jamaica. The local parents are appreciative of the collaboration's ability to help those in need. Did yeah! Number 7 Fashion Style Sean Paul's style is distinctive and spans almost two decades just like his music career. He adheres to the same approach when it comes to his style. Sean Paul said, I try to wear things that intuitively feel right when I put them on. My style shifts constantly based on how I'm feeling and the music I'm producing at the time. The international superstar discusses bell-bottom pants. I like Dolce & Gabbana dress shirts because I love how the collars look. Louis Vuitton belts fit me perfectly, and I like mainly sneaker-type shoes, especially Giuseppe, Zanotti, and Bissemi, but sometimes it's Nike and Jordan. I support designers when their stuff looks different and catches my eye. I like most of the G-Star line because it blends militant with urban and that tends to be my main style. Sometimes I get designers sending me stuff to wear in videos and photo shoots and that's how I become aware of them. And then I start rocking their stuff. Number 8 Fatherhood Levi Blaze Henriquez and Remy Lee Henriquez are Sean Paul and Jody Jinx Henriquez's son and daughter. When Jody gave birth to Levi in February 2017, the artist then 44 became a parent for the first time. Remy soon came after in August 2019. The artist has consistently stated that despite his many accomplishments being a father is his greatest success and that there is nothing he wouldn't do for his kids. The performer recently disclosed that he postponed a Father's Day performance so he could spend time with his kids. He has frequently performed songs that are devoted to his kids. He thinks it's crucial for parents to be present for their children to as the world turns, and as time burns, girl you know I'm gonna be there. This is the end of Top 8 Luxury by Sean Paul. Make sure to tap the like button and subscribe to see our next list. Bye for now.